Hey guys, life is no yoke today. Feeling great. Gonna show you how to make our get out of bed, replace your coffee, help you lose weight and build muscle if that's what you're looking to do. Keep your blood sugar from spiking because it's a whole food juice, inflammation reducing, bright, fresh, and tasty. Lasts in the fridge for three days. Have a little every day, it'll change your life. Spicy green juice in the Vitamix. Let's make it. We'll start with four cups of water. That's about 32 ounces. Then we'll add the fruit. So we'll use one banana, peeled, one apple, cored, one orange, peeled, and then the greens. Today we're using a cup of kale and a cup of spinach, and then seeds. We have a tablespoon of flaxseed. We'll take a slice of lemon, peeled, a hunk of ginger, about the size of your thumb, peeled or not, either way, and then ice on top. We've got about two cups of ice. And then we'll add some frozen mango. It's about half a cup. And to give it a little bit of a kick, a tiny slice of jalapeno. We're gonna blend on high, variable speed 10 for 90 seconds. Might seem like a long time, but that's how long you have to blend whole food juice. Then we're gonna blend for another 10 seconds on variable speed one. This is gonna get the bubbles out, make that foam go away, give it that nice consistency that we're looking for. Pour it out, serve it right away. Guys, you shouldn't need to look up our recipe. It's a formula, fruit, green seeds, lemon, ginger, ice on top. You can use the little rap song that we made. Guys, stick around for some useful tips and tricks, mistakes to avoid when making green juice in your Vitamix, followed by a nearly zero edit demo of us making this green juice, kind of like you're sitting in our kitchen. And guys, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell to get notified. If you appreciate videos like this, hit that thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. A few mistakes to avoid when you're making green juice. I have 20 of them. First of all, ginger. You don't have to peel your ginger. You can just give it a rinse and throw it right in. Same with lemon. Lemon peels don't taste bitter, so you don't have to peel them. You can throw those right in. Don't feel like seeds getting stuck to the outside of the container is an inevitability. To avoid this, take the lid plug out and add the seeds while it's blending. They'll go right into the middle and get mixed throughout instead of getting stuck on the sides. You have our formula for making green juice, but don't feel like anything is off limits, especially if you have must go ingredients. If you have stuff in your fridge that you need to get rid of that must go, here, here, let me show you. Look at this. Does your toddler eat apples like this? Don't throw it away. If someone comes over with orange juice for brunch, Put that in your green juice, it's totally okay. The only thing you do want to avoid is red fruit. So cherries and strawberries, that's gonna make your green juice brown. And even though it might taste good, it's not gonna look good, and therefore it's not gonna taste good. Now, don't think that just because you can't eat it doesn't mean it's not good to blend in your green juice. So pineapple is a great example. The cores of pineapple aren't good to eat. They're kind of hard to chew and you don't eat them. You throw them away usually. Keep those pineapple cores freeze them, and then throw in your green juice. Don't confuse making green juice with baking. Baking, you need everything, and missing an ingredient is a, a recipe for disaster. If you're missing something with our green juice formula, don't worry about it, just omit it, and perhaps just add something extra instead. So if you don't have an orange to put into your green juice, add some more mango. Oh, you don't have to drink foamy green juice. Run the blender on variable speed one, the lowest speed it can go, for about 30 seconds at the end. That should do the trick for the most part, but also some of the ingredients that have water, soluble fiber, apples, pears, avocado, mango, that's gonna help as well as seeds. Add a lot of those and you should be good. If you don't love this green juice right away, that's okay. Your taste buds will change, they will. If you're in that stage where you don't love the taste of green juice, you don't have to sip it. You can chuck it, drink it really fast. That's actually gonna make you feel really good. Or you can eat it like cereal. Pour it in a cup or bowl, put some granola on top, a hunk of nut butter, and have it with a spoon. If you don't love the green juice that you made, it might be because you made a bad batch. It happens. Don't let that discourage you. Keep blending. Green juice is packed with protein, so don't feel like you have to add protein powder to it. Mm, I love this one. Don't feel like you have to make green juice with wilted greens. Take your greens and put them in a cup of water and put them in the fridge and they'll perk right back up. Do you wash your dishes right away after you use them? Because cleaning a dirty container after it's sitting, been sitting in the sink all day is a hurdle 
to you making green juice again. So don't let it just sit there in the sink. You definitely should give your blender a blender bath, a run and cleaning cycle right after. You'll be more successful in this green juice habit adoption process that you're hopefully gonna do after watching this incredibly long and detailed video about making green juice. <laughs> don't assume the person you live with isn't gonna like green juice. Do you have a good knife? Don't make it more difficult than it needs to be, prepping oranges and apples. You know, people say your life changes when you get a Vitamix. Your life really changes when you get a real chef's knife. Okay, two more. Don't miss a day. You don't have to make green juice every day. In fact, you should just make it every other day. It batch, batch the work, makes, makes it easier. And hey, don't make it difficult on yourself. Have the ingredients on hand. Make it the thing that you always have, uh, that's always on your list. That's, that's the uh, ingredient or the, the supply that triggers a trip to the grocery store. Like uh, underwear triggers the need to do laundry. If you're out of greens or if you're out of uh, apples or bananas, gotta go to the grocery store. And if time is still a crunch for you, batch further. I'm just gonna read this because this is really cool. Make packs, like freezer packs. I made up several freezer packets of your green juice recipe so I wouldn't have to go to the store for fresh ingredients. I took out, I took one out this morning, let it defrost for a bit, added my water, and it was fabulous. I got one more mistake that people make way too often, and that's waiting too long, not getting started. No day is perfect to begin, but today is good enough to get started. So you should start making green juice. Go. Get in the habit. Keep blending. All right, rapid fire, frequently asked questions. First of all, green juice in a blender? Isn't this a smoothie? Nope. This is whole food juice. We're using all the ingredients as nature intended, as God intended you to eat the food. Pressed juice takes an apple, puts it in, and gives you juice on one end, and the peel and all the other stuff on the other end for waste. Whole food juice uses ice and water to make juice. So you're getting all of that fiber, all of that nutrients. And what's really key here is the slow, even release of nutrients with whole food juice. It's better for you. At least I think so. It is. <laughs> How long does this last? It lasts up to three days in the fridge. This is yesterday's batch. So if you make it on a Monday, Tuesday it's still good, Wednesday's the last day. When should I have it? All day, every day, as soon as you get up. How much should I have? Have as much as you want. Your body will tell you if it's had too much and it probably won't because it's a steady stream of whole food. Ice on top. This serves to push everything down into the blade and also chill the juice, make it tasty right away. It might seem like you're making a lot, but make a full blend. Each one is gonna get you two of these mason jars worth, maybe a little bit more. What other greens can I use? If we can find collard greens, we love those too. Really any dark leafy greens are great. You can also use lettuce. Just don't use uh, arugula. It has a peppery flavor and kind of makes the green juice taste funky. There may be a situation where you say, oh, I feel like I'm always chewing my kale. And we actually heard this from someone who has a Vitamix. A couple tips here. First of all, consider using less kale. Maybe you're using too much. Second thing, you might want to de-stem the kale. You don't have to, especially if you have a Vitamix, but that will help get a more smooth consistency that you're looking for. Use more water. That's gonna increase the ratio of water to kale, so you're not just drinking a finely processed kale. And also, you can change the ratio of the greens that you're using, so a little less kale, but if you still want greens, just add more spinach or collard greens or wheatgrass or chard. Change the ratio. And of course, you can always blend longer. With green juice, you're gonna be going for a long time, 90 to 120 seconds to really get that juice-like consistency. Can I use this green juice to help me lose weight? Sure can. Green juice is a great way to sort of set your intention for the day. We hear people having a lot of success by saying, okay, I'm gonna have 16 ounces of green juice, first thing I put in my body. My doctor told me to avoid juice because of all the sugar and spikes to my blood sugar. Does this fall into that category? Nope. You gotta double check with your doctor, but this is not in the same category as orange juice or cold pressed juice. This is whole food juice. Can green juice cure my lower back pain? It's debatable. We made a video about that. 
click right there to watch it. Can green juice cure cancer? Nobody asks that, but why do you bug me every single week about green juice? I think if everyone had a little bit of green juice every day, our world would be a better place. If you're just getting started, just use spinach. Oh, but do change your greens. Don't use the same greens every time. It's good for your body to change them up. Seeds, we typically use chia seeds and flax seeds. You can buy store-bought ground or grind your own fresh. Keep the flax seeds in the freezer. They'll stay fresher longer. Our friend Tarshan of Blender Babes has a good video about grinding your own flax seeds. If you wanna watch it, we'll link to it right here. Hemp seeds are great, just like greens. Mix and match your seeds however you like. Okay, let's talk about the lemon for a second. Lemon is going to add brightness to your green juice. Without it, you're gonna know it's not there. The lemon also serves to preserve the juice, to keep it from turning brown. If it separates in the fridge a little bit, depending on what you put in it, it might. Just give it a couple shakes and it should be back to beautiful green juice. We use these mason jars, I'll put a link to them. We pretty much exclusively drink, I exclusively drink out of these mason jars, green juice, water, I guess that's all I really drink, um, and one coffee mug. <laughs> put a lid on it, that helps keep it fresh as well. We like ours cold. A lot better than warm green juice. Like, warm green juice is pretty gross, but some people, that's what they like. Cold is better. <laughs> Fresh turmeric, probably really good in green juice. I don't think we've ever done it. Someone suggested that they just did it. It might turn your juice a little bit brown because green and orange makes brown, but mm, worth a try. I have a handful of jobs that I'm responsible for in our house, vacuuming, taking out the garbage, and making green juice. It's just kind of become something that I do. It's my job. My point here is that it's something you should get in the habit of doing, and it's something that one person should be responsible for. If you're on airport pickup duty and you wanna be a hero, make a batch of green juice and bring it with you. The taste and the, the feeling that you get of having nutrients and just feeling alive again after getting off an airplane and traveling for a long time. Uh, I did this for Shava after her uh, international trip. She told me, she's like, I was hoping that you would bring me green juice. I can't believe you actually did. It was a gift that you can't give any other way. I have one more and I love this one. Bring some green juice with you for your conference calls. The tip is apple. A bite of apple actually changes the sound of your voice to make it sound more appealing. You can do all these technical tricks to get your voice to sound better. Removing the echo, microphone closer, better chords, whatever, but the best trick is to eat a bite of apple. So instead of chewing an apple, green juice. You can have a body like this. Green juice every day. Green juice every day will have you looking like this. It'll change the color of your eyes. And I actually read that somewhere that it would. Look, look at my eyes, they're amazing. Snookies. Check them out. They used to be brown, now they're like green with orange flair. My eyes are made of green juice now. <laughs> I wanna say that the green juice video that we made like four or five years ago, it's I think 16 minutes long and the number one topic of comment is that it went on and on. There was so much talking and not enough blending. Here we are. Same story. A lot to talk about with green juice. <laughs> All right, you ready? I did it by myself. You did it by yourself? Nice. Okay, we got, oh, you opened the banana by yourself.
All right, will you put the banana in and I'll cut the apple? Nope, not the peel. Peel goes in the compost. <laughs> nice. Whoa! Splash. All right, we're just going to make sure everything's rinsed. Nice. All right. So we got banana. We'll do ice on top. Ice on top. That's right, buddy. All right, so we'll do apple. Feet down, buddy. Did you take a couple bites of our apple? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right, will you put these in, please? Apple in. Can I eat this? Yeah, you could eat it. Apple in, core, compost. Can I eat it? Yeah, you can eat it. Put that apple in. We'll slice the orange. Mm -hmm. So we'll take the trick to the slicing the orange is taking the ends off first. And then going all the way around one time. Please stop. Please stop doing the lever, okay? The switch, okay? Is that a machine? Yeah, just leave the switch, okay? Is that a machine? That's a yeah, that is a machine. Is that a a blender base? Mm -hmm. We'll bring it over in a second when we're ready to use it. Right here? Yeah, we'll blend right here actually, because we're putting it on camera. Right here? Yeah, for our our green juice video. Do you, do you want to tell tell anybody? Um, do you, can you tell them how to make green juice? Can you explain? In the blender. In the blender. What do we put in? Ice on top. What's that? Ice on top. We put ice on top. What do we do first? We do water. Orange. Orange. Yeah. So we do water first, and then what? Fruit? Do you want a bite? It's a really it looks like a really good orange. We do fruit. Mmm. I forgot that I just brushed my teeth, so that's kind of gross. Apple, banana, orange, fruit, greens is our next, right? So we have kale. It's about a cup. What's this? Greens? Fruit, greens, yep, good. Okay, and then seeds. We have flax seed today. We're all out of chia seeds, but that's okay. Can you dump? In, good. Fruit, green seeds, and then we got lemon. So we'll do a nice slice of lemon. Should we leave the peel on or take the peel off? Okay, you can do either. We'll leave a tiny bit on. Okay, in. Okay, and then ginger. You want to smell the ginger? No. Okay. Smell? It smells so good. Okay. Okay, you don't have to peel the ginger, buddy, but we'll peel just like a little bit of it. Rinse the rest. Okay, in, you put it in. Leave the switch. Lemon ginger, in. In, please. In the blender. Fruit green seeds, lemon, ginger, ice on top, right? Mm -hmm. You put dump the ice on top. Okay, and then Maybe some frozen mango? Dad? Yep. Put it in. Frozen mango. Okay. Good. And maybe some jalapeno. We'll do a tiny slice of jalapeno, okay? Jalapeno? Yeah, a tiny slice. Dad, I'll put it in. It's a honey Tiny. Jalapeno. It's It's jalapeno. And then, should we put this, this apple slice in? 
No, I only ate it. You want to eat this one? Can, I, can we can we share? You have half, and the half goes in. Okay, you put this half in. Is it still right. for me? Yeah. All right. We'll do a quick. We'll wipe everything down really fast, and then bring the blender over. Right here. Yep. Okay, start, and then ramp it up to ten. So here's what we're gonna do. Leave your headphones on. I'm gonna set the timer now for 30 seconds and you're gonna press play, but don't ramp it up, okay? We'll just leave it on variable speed one, okay? That's fine. Okay, press play and then don't don't ramp it up. Okay. Yeah, we're getting the bubbles out, exactly. Turn it off. Good. Oh, boy. Uh, for mama. That's for mama. Who's that for? Nana. That's right. And who's this one for? Nana. Yeah, it's for Dada too. Perfect. All right. Cheers. Ooh. It's good today, huh, buddy? Good helping. Thank you. High five. Thank you. Cheers. Oh, good one. Mmm, it's a tiny, tiny bit. Um. <laughs> S-P-I-C-U-I. He just said it. I know. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, love. It's delicious.